I must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, Rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it back. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. Are you good? I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. Sounds like murder mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! I am Groot! Harsh! Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Flurkins. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. What are you working on, Rocket? Uh, just a little upgrade for the Milano's weapon systems. I told you I'd put that quarantine zone tech to good use if you hit it from Nova Corps. Cool. How soon can we try it out? Uh, depends on how long you're gonna stand there bothering me. You want something? All right. Watch it! Hey! Gamora! Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, oh, oh. who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat, call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't wanna tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. warrior. Well, I am the warrior, and heart to heart you win. <laughs> <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. 
What did you want to talk about? Actually, my job here is done. Really? Yep, and it worked out great. I'll let you go back to, uh, studying the blade. Sure. Could you move? Ooh, so swirly. Is that even a plant? Wonder where Gru picked up that one. Did Rocket move his crate? Yeah, I did. I got a plan for those gun parts. You're gonna love it. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again. I saw you looking at those emergency door controls, stupid- Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? <laughs> shoo! Flark off! Wow. That panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am good. Anything yet? I am good. Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pewter Quill. Cosmos bow's been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Net. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. Just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Why? Where are you going?
Did you... You and me? I am What? I am So! Lethal Legion. Cool merc name. I used to run with the Ravagers myself. We are far superior to you and your Ravagers, Terran scum. The Lethal Legion is composed of the best warriors the universe has ever seen. And me. Hey, look. I get it. You're the best of the best. You're the captain of a super elite team. I'm the captain of a... Elite team. Some of us are super elite. You are nothing like me. I am Glavri of the Kree Empire. My birthright alone supersedes any sense of worth you foolishly believe you possess. Spoken like a true Kree. More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! I will not be disrespected. You will be eliminated. Give it your best shot, Helmet Head. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. Your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Scan again. Possible. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us.
keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. Ah! <laughs> he is really pissing me off. Lady Skull Suit has the worst fucking timing. Who's she here? Just her goons. This time. Tune up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my. Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How may we assist you? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? That ain't okay. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Just pick something, Peter. I am Groot. Groot wants you to pick World Mind. Scroll down! Scroll down! Hey, your cop girlfriend is still listed here. You should, uh... Rocket! Oh, right, she's, uh, dead. <gasps> Scroll back up! Nova Prime's identity is confidential. And communication with them is forbidden until further notice. Huh. Doesn't say which one. Why even list them then? Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Who even cares? We are sad to inform you that Denarian Carlos is currently missing and assumed dead. 
Hey, isn't this that Buckethead we killed on the rock? We definitely did not murder him, and definitely did not admit in front of a Nova Corps console rocket. Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Corbin Day is missing in action and unable to respond. I've heard of him. He was in the resistance. So much for near perfect algorithms, helpline. Hey, Walberry, got any. Congratulations, Congratulations on your decision to, to join, join the Corps. To, to begin, state your full name, designation, designation or serial number. Richard Ryder. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Oh, uh, come on, muscle brain. <laughs> Please state your celestial body or artificial installation of origin. Someplace! Earth. Earth! I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Yeah. Finally, Finally, in a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. <laughs> Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, boys. Alright, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? This menu again? Perhaps we should try another menu. Nova no number 11249-44396 is out of our sensor range and unavailable for contact. Richard Ryder. Sounds Terran. You seriously don't know who he is? I have yet to meet a Terran of any interest. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? We are aware of the current threat. But no resources toward fighting it. How about future crime? Great idea! Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. What do you mean the past crime button looks lonely? We should tell them about the promise. Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No, no, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. Cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, but the world mind is a collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look. We just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. 
The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zendarian culture is a lost cause! Culture is more than a location. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That, that is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. directive officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The, the risk, risk is too great. It, it would be, be a pointless, pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Corps? It is not magical. But yes! Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did, we did not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end and you spend our cash on a Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. Alright, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Accepting the 
promise. We got a job, Quill. I know. Petro's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! What did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Hi, Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the flocking water. And if they right. find us, we're screwed. screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagn- I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. Hey, how's it looking? How does it look like it's looking? Well, I... Tension circuit melted through the stem bolts, reverse ratcheting routing planers out of alignment, can't even see the Flarkin sensor node behind the flux capacitor. Please. Flux capacitors are real? What? No, I mean flow capacitor. Words get a little messed up when I'm tired. Hey, Groot. What's that stuff you're drinking? I am Groot. Looks like herbal tea, but, uh, not sure about the smell. <laughs> I am Groot. Say, bud, how do you stay so level-headed? I am Groot. I mean, every time Scud happens and we're down on the ditch, you never seem to lose your morale. I am Groot. Wow. Wish I could understand that. You have it all figured out, don't you? I am good. Well, I hope you keep it up. We could all learn something from you. God, feels like I've been awake for a whole cycle. Really? How did you? Ugh. I'm gonna get fleas. Come on, girl. 
Shoot, shoot. And the bed smells. Great. this how are you me come on the talking raccoons waiting for you everybody is uh rocket yeah he was fixing that thing that broke hey if we're some kind of big space hero now why are we running from the bad uh, guys it's complicated no it's not stop running and we've landed uh <sighs> I can't... I can't think about this right now. I'll have to come back to this later. Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait. How do we fly out here? So you flew us all the way here? Yep. Without asking? Hey, I asked. You said, and I quote, I'll take you to the stars. I'll show you who we are. We're space riders with no name. Uh... And then you went back to sleep. And you thought that meant yes? Good enough for me. Be nice while we're running errands, all right? Please, stay out of my cabin. I wonder if we should bring her back to where we found her later. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go. Stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough. What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but. <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice! 